Hey guys, welcome to IntelliPath. For developing any web application, including single page application as well as dynamic web pages for any website, it requires a platform and frameworks to create them. And two of the widely used frameworks are Angular and AngularJS. Also, if you have gone through the job postings for a web developer by the companies, most of the time they mention that the candidate should have skills such as Angular and AngularJS. Now you might be wondering what is the actual difference between Angular and AngularJS. So here we have come up with a video where we will describe the actual differences between Angular and AngularJS. Now let us look at the agenda for this video. First we will look at what is Angular. After that we will understand what is AngularJS. Then we will understand the major differences between Angular and AngularJS. After that we will try to understand why do we use Angular and AngularJS. And finally, we will go through the job scope and salary for a web developer who has the skills such as Angular and AngularJS. Now before moving ahead, do subscribe to IntelliPath's YouTube channel and press the bell icon so that you never miss out an upcoming update from us. Now let's begin with the session. Okay, now in this Angular versus AngularJS tutorial, let us move on with the first agenda point which is what is Angular. So it is a popular open source TypeScript framework created by Google for developing web applications. So front-end developers use frameworks like Angular or React for presenting and manipulating data, which actually helps them to present and manipulate it efficiently. So updated Angular is much more efficient in comparison to the older version of Angular. Especially core functionality was moved to different modules. So that's why it becomes so much fast and smooth compared to the older one. So newly added Angular CLI actually helps the developer to build efficient applications. And with that package, you can create scaffolding of your Angular project. So today for most of the front-end developers, Angular is a well-known framework made for building web applications. And also over time, it has gained support from many developers and they have created a lot of useful packages that made coding even faster. Also more and more things were added to the code so that development of web applications become easy. So here Angular is referring to Angular 2 and Angular team decided to create a completely new framework and at first the new framework was named as Angular 2 and it sometimes may cause understatements because after time beta version was renamed to Angular. Now when people want to find some pieces of Angular JS code, they may find stuff connected with Angular 2 or higher. So higher here refers to Angular 4 and it was announced on December 2016 and creators purposely skipped number 3 to avoid a confusion due to the misalignment of the router packages version which was already distributed. So Angular in fourth version is backward compatible with Angular 2. Now let us move on to the next one. What is Angular JS? So AngularJS is a JavaScript open source front-end framework that is mainly used to develop single page web applications and it is a continuously growing and expanding framework which provides better ways for developing web applications and it changes the static HTML to dynamic HTML pages. Also its features like dynamic binding and dependency injection eliminates the need for code that we have to write otherwise. Also, AngularJS is rapidly growing and because of this reason, we have different versions of AngularJS with the latest stable being 1.7.7. Further, it is important to note that Angular is different from AngularJS as you already know and we will be discussing it further in this video. So it is an open source project which can be freely used and changed by anyone and it extends HTML attributes with directives and data is bound with HTML over here. So actually it brings us two way data binding and it lets us see data changes in JavaScript automatically shown on the UI. Furthermore, AngularJS has directives that let us create more separated and reusable code than even before. And generally it allows us as well as programmers to write applications using model view controller. Now this was the introduction to Angular and AngularJS. Now, Further, let us see the actual differences between both of these. So first we'll discuss about the architecture where we'll discuss the difference between the architecture, then mobile support, performance, tool support and dependency injection. Now let us start off with the architecture part. Just a quick info guys, 
If you are interested in web development, then IntelliPath provides an end-to-end -end web development certification course. The course link is given in the description below where you can check out the details of the course. Now let's continue with the session. So talking about Angular, Angular uses components that are directives with templates. Whereas AngularJS, it has MVC that is model view controller that acts as the central component as it manages data, logic, rules and expresses how the applications behave. So this is first difference between Angular and AngularJS. Now let us move on to the next difference related to mobile support. So in Angular, it provides mobile support whereas AngularJS does not provide any kind of mobile support. Now moving to performance and speed in Angular and AngularJS. So talking about Angular, the framework upgraded to a better structure and which provides improved performance and speed. Whereas AngularJS, it has a two-way binding feature that ultimately reduces the effort and time of construction. Now, let us look at the next difference that is tool support. So in Angular, it uses the command line interface to reduce the time when creating applications. Whereas in AngularJS, the framework relies on third-party tools such as IDE and WebStorm. Now coming to dependency injection. So in Angular, there is hierarchical dependency injection system used, whereas in AngularJS, it does not uses any dependency injection. Now further, we'll discuss more about Angular and AngularJS to understand the actual difference. So we'll discuss about why do we use Angular and AngularJS to understand its difference in a better way. So starting with, let us see why do we use AngularJS. So the first reason is front-end development. So AngularJS offers a comprehensive solution for front-end development since it does not depend on other frameworks and plugins. Then reusable components. So Angular just provides the user with reusable components that the developer can use for creating web applications. Then comes simple architecture. So AngularJS has a much simpler architecture to develop mobile and web applications quickly. And finally, the unit testing. So this is also one of the important feature of AngularJS and it is also called isolated testing. So it's the practice of testing small isolated pieces of code. And if your test uses some external resource like the network or a database, it's not a unit test. So we test small pieces of code and then combine them to create the final product or the final web application. Now we understood the difference between Angular and AngularJS. We talked about why we use Angular and AngularJS. Now further, let us move on to the job scope and salary. So after all the discussion, you might have many doubts related to job scope, salary, companies who hires developers who are skilled in Angular as well as AngularJS. So all these skills are possessed by a web developer. So we'll look into the job scope and salary of a web developer along with the location. So let us start off with the first one that is job scope. So in the United States, the number of jobs are more than 26,000 in coming 2021 for a web developer. And according to Forbes in India, there are 10,000 plus jobs available for a web developer in coming 2021. So this is about the job scope. So there are lot of opportunities for a web developer in the United States as well as in India. Now coming to the salary. So in India, the average salary is 7.5 lakh per annum. And in the United States, it is $74,000. And in England, it is 78,000 British pounds. So here is the graph that shows the rough estimate according to the experience of expert, fresher and intermediate in India, United States and in England. So the number of opportunities and the salary of a web developer shows that it is one of the best job in the industry with a very high salary. Now moving on to the company's hiring. So there are thousands of company who are hiring and who actively requires web developers. So these are few of them. So before knowing them, you must have a question. So what should I learn? AngularJS or Angular? So wondering about the version that will be best for you. So the newer version of Angular is a popular solution. Moreover, mostly it will be a better choice. And anyway, before you choose one of them to your new project, try to ask yourself few questions that what libraries would you like to use? Are they compatible with Angular? 
what web browsers we want to support and in which application we are working. So this one is really important. So if you choose only new browsers, then Angular is the best. And it's because it is a forward looking library. But don't forget about the other browsers. So the old browsers still requires Angular JS. So it completely depends on the type of application that you are going to work. So here are a few of the companies that is Mu Sigma, Google, Siemens, IBM, Amazon, Unisys, Fractal, Ola, Flipkart and there are many others in the queue but these are few of the top companies who hires web developers. Now you might have a question about the location for which they are hiring. So the demand of a web developer is everywhere in every country and most of the nowadays hires developers from around the world with remote location. So the web developer jobs are not constrained to a specific location. You can find it everywhere. So no worries about the location. Just you need to have right set of skills. So now we have discussed all the things related to the difference between Angular and AngularJS. And at last I would like to conclude by saying that Angular is a great framework and it has many improvements in terms of AngularJS. So it will no doubt become more and more popular and I think that it is well suited to small as also to bigger applications. So it is really worth learning and using. Also the jobs in the field of web development is very high along with a good salary package. So this was all about the difference between Angular and Angular JS. Thank you. Just a quick info guys. If you are interested in web development, then IntelliPath provides an end to end web development certification course. The course link is given in the description below where you can check out the details of the course. This is the end of this video. If this video was informative to you, then like and share it. Also, if you have any doubt or queries, then you can post it in the comment section. Finally, do subscribe to IntelliPath's YouTube channel and press the bell icon so that you never miss out on our upcoming updates. Thank you.